Hey guys, Ruben Lara here, and today's a quick tip on how to import a series of images into an animation stack in Clip Studio. So I'm working on a whiteboard animation, and the client has asked for a motif where we see a bunch of cars flying in fighter jet formation to show teamwork and collaboration and all that good stuff. So about right here, the camera pans down to a pilot who's gonna be kind of looking ahead, then looking toward the camera, toward the second pilot, and they're gonna kind of nod some kind of communication and you know, the cars go off and have a wonderful life. All right, they fly in formation there. And they fan out with success. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hand draw the rotation of this helmet turn. And of course, you know, some of the body elements just in traditional frame to frame animation. Now, rotating a fighter helmet can be a little bit tricky because there's so many pieces to it. And I don't want to really have to go and figure all that out. On my own. So what I did is I went to uh, Turbo Squid and found a 3D helmet model and just went to their 360 view and this gives you a nice little rotation. So I just um, screen grabbed you know the pieces that I wanted, put them into a folder. So I pulled out eight images of just the pieces that I want. So there's gonna be the head turn all the way to looking at the camera and of course it also grabs the one looking away from the camera. So eight simple drawings. So I named those in an order uh, in my finder window so that they would show up in order. So here's how you get them into Clip Studio as an animation stack. So you go up to the file menu and you may be tempted to go to import batch import. But if you use this feature, it's going to import your images as separate pages uh, as if you were working on a comic book. Instead, you want to choose file batch process. And what this function allows you to do is choose anything from the menu system and just iterate it over and over and over. So what we're gonna do is make sure we're on main menu, go to file, import, image, uh, and it's gonna ask us what we wanna do with those images afterwards. So we're just gonna say we want it on the current canvas and just close each image, each image without saving. So we'll hit okay, we'll select all of our images, open, and you'll see that they have now come in uh, stacked just as regular layers. Now we just need to put these into an animation folder. So we want to create a new animation folder. I'll shift select the whole stack and drag them in. So now we have this animation folder that will be showing each one of these in sequence. Now we could go in here and you know one by one assign each frame per layer. Now it may not take that long with eight frames but imagine we had a stack of you know 100 frames or more. We don't want to have to do that one by one. So fortunately, there's a nice function to also automate the assigning of these layers per frame. So we'll come up to the animation menu, edit track, and we're going to batch specify cells. So if we click specify cells, it's just going to do one at a time, but batch is going to do multiple. So let's uh, specify name of existing animation cell. So what this is going to do, it's going to go into that animation folder and see what's in there. And it's already detected that there's a sequential stack of layers, starting with helmet 000 all the way to 007. So it kind of automatically set that up for us. I'm just going to leave all these at the defaults because it's going to bring them in uh, one cell at a time and hit OK. And there we go. We have our JPEG, JPEG image sequence now loaded as an animation stack inside Clip Studio. So now I can come here and maybe reduce this or turn it into blue. Uh, make myself another animation folder and just rotoscope this and I'll have all of my helmet drawings. Another thing we can do is rename all of our layers uh, as sequence numbers. So if we go up here to the animation folder, select animation, edit track, and rename in order of timeline, it will rename all those layers as well as the cell assignments here in the timeline. Now I just want to point out one uh, quick thing about the batch import you'll notice that the images come in with this little icon with a cube. It means that they've come in as objects. Now objects are nice because uh, when you resize them, they don't lose their resolution. But unfortunately, when put into an animation folder, you're not able to transform them together. So to show you what I mean, I'll just pull off the blue here and increase our opacity. I'll come here to the move layer. And while I can move this around, if I try to transform, um, it won't let me, I'm hitting you know, Command or Control T, and in fact, the little transform icon is also grayed out, indicating that I'm not able to do that. I'm also not able to do it uh, individually because objects can't be transformed using the normal transform method. You need to use the object tool 
with objects. Then you can come in here and transform this. The only downside is that it only transforms one at a time. And I can't transform the root of the animation folder, nor can I select them all um, and, and resize them together. It still only does the one. So the fix to that is an easy one. And it's just understanding that you need to rasterize these images in order to resize them. Now, if I shift select all of them and right click and select rasterize, it's only gonna rasterize the first one. So what I'll have to do is shift select all of them and pull them out of the animation folder so that they're just normal layers, right click, rasterize, that rasterizes all of them together. And then I can drop them back into the animation folder. And of course, because my cells are already assigned with the correct layer numbers, everything works uh, just like before. But now I can now grab the root, select my normal move layer, hit Command T, and now adjust this to, um, you know, to fit the right size. So maybe we'll do something like, yeah, just around there, double click. And now all of our cells have been transformed together. All right, I hope that was helpful and happy animating.